Hi, it's Macca from Camper Trailer Australia and we're up in the high country today and we're reviewing this fabulous new mountain trail camper, the EDX. I'm here with Nick Edwards, he's the designer and manufacturer of this fabulous camper. It's the EDX hard floor and I'm going to be asking Nick a few questions about this unbelievable new camper. Okay Nick, the mountain trail camper EDX, tell me about that. It means electric design extreme and we designed this so it was actually electric opening and closing without any winching, pushing or any physical involvement. So it's simple, uh, anyone can do it uh, regardless of age, my eight year old daughter can do it, just press a button and it opens out and press a button and it pulls back closed again. So there's really no more manual handling? Of no manual handling and when we designed it that was very important to us. We wanted to market this to everybody, even you know our demographic now is a lot of retired couples where they might have a sore shoulder or, or a hip or whatever and to physically lift something up and then to winch it back, we've removed all that, so it's real ease of use. And I understand that you've got a patent on this. We spent a long time designing it and engineering it. It was all very tight to make the, the two actuators work together on a linkage system. And we're the first company to introduce this in a rear folding hard floor. So we're protecting our brand and our engineering, which we've invested a lot into. Everywhere you look, it's just, it just smacks of quality. We made the whole camper rust, rot and corrosion free by having a hot dipped galvanised chassis. There's five different metals in this and composite flooring that we import from Germany. Um, so there's no timber in it. Anything that's mild steel is hot dipped galvanised. Uh, all of the floor sheet and the internal walls are all galvanised. The external walls are a zinc anneal two pack enamel paint and stainless steel kitchen and the whole front end is aluminium to keep the weight down as well. So this is a 20 year proposition. This is mum and dad going around Australia for the rest of their lives and never having to touch anything on the camper in terms of repair or maintenance. Exactly. The main advantage of our method of construction as well is it's constructed like a motor vehicle. We've basically started with a hot dipped galvanised chassis and there's over 300 separate panels. So if you damage any panel, a panel beater within Australia can call our factory, find the part number, we laser cut it, we press it, we send it to them and they can paint it and install it. So in 10 years time if you've got damage it can be fixed. Nick I'm really impressed with the outfit here with the kitchen which is really the heart of any home. I've just built a house and we've got soft clothes drawers at home and I can't believe that I've come out to the bush and you've got exactly the same thing here. They're, they are good because when you know when you're traveling along they hold in as well. So we've got soft clothes slides here, we've even got cabinet hinges on this one so they're soft clothes as well. There's another drawer slide over here, this is also a soft slide and we've got a pantry here. These have latches on them so they're good for off-road use. 300 mil deep so you can get wine bottles, cereal boxes, all the tall things. Okay. And then there's another one here that's 150 mil deep. You can put your plates and knives and forks and cutlery up here. Yeah. And your food and your spice rack and then your food down below. And of course really convenient close to the kitchen is your fridge and you've got your whole electrical system there. We've actually designed it so the fridge slides out further than what it needs to so the lid will sit back and not fall down on Great. your hands. Great. And just up here is what we call at the control center. This is really simple to use. There's a lot of electrics in this camper. So basically these are all your override switches for power. So this is the fridge. So we'll, if we turn that off, the fridge just went off. So we'll turn the fridge back on. Courtesy lights is the lights in all the compartments around the other side. Diesel hot water, shower and ducted heating, which is optional in this model. In 10 minutes time, we'll have hot water to the shower and the kitchen. Cabin lights are all the lights around the camper when you're in use, which then have their own switches. Water pump an electric setup so now it's ready to go opening and closing so if we go out for the day to make sure that we don't leave any lights on etc we just shut everything down except for the fridge yeah, the red oak battery management system is really good it's got um, three ways of charging obviously you've got ac which is plugging a power point into the side of the camper dc from your, your tow vehicle while you're driving and solar input um, you can have them all plugged in at once and it'll, it'll pick the strongest source this floor this is this is as solid as you would find in any ballroom it's the integral part of the camper. It's a composite material that's extremely lightweight but quite solid as well. You can feel how solid it is. There's absolutely no warping at all and there's no, no extendable legs or anything to huh? sort of prop it up. It's just one piece and it's rigid. It doesn't need any feet on it or adjustable feet because what happens is it actually drives into the ground and lifts the back of the camper up slightly. 
Nick, it's really light and airy in here, and 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 your use of the uh, of the windows means that you catch any breeze that you possibly can. Yeah, that's right, Maka. We've actually designed them. You can see we've done this in our in our soft floor cameras as well, where they're actually a big triangle window. So at night time, you can just have it the top down a tiny bit, and if it's a hot night or day, or whatever, it can vent out through the top, but you still have the privacy. Or you've got the option of rolling them all the way down like this. This is a queen size bed? Yes, exactly, Maka. It's a, st it's a standard home size queen and fully supported. Which the drawer slides out and fills up the entire space under the floor. So there's three compartments. It's on very heavy duty long slides as well. Nick, it's got this optional shower recess. Put a porta potty in there and carry a toilet, a shower, a change room if you've got children, a great place to get changed and really simple to put up. It's just one zip and two posts. You level the detail with your compression locks and you've also got automotive rubber seals which means that uh, these will always stay dust proof. You can see the dust line around the outside and these cabinets are completely dust free. And of course this model comes with the optional diesel heater which works also as a central heating unit. That's right Maka. So the diesel hot water service is in this compartment here and it runs a, a hot water unit and a, and a heater to inside the cabin as well. Tell me what's going on up front here. Right, this is uh, what, what we designed this for. This is actually a rubberized lined stone guard so it's designed as stone deflection. We've incorporated it into what we call a, a lockable vented storage area which we think is essential. In the front here we've got our jerry cans, gas bottles, um, bags of rubbish are in the state park like this, we can put our rubbish somewhere, mesh floor, firewood, and it doesn't really matter, you can just hose it out. It's constructed of aluminium, and as you can see, 100% lockable. The camper itself only weighs 1300 kilos, so we've got independent swing arm coil suspension with shock absorbers and 12 inch electric off-road brakes. So it is equipped for serious four-wheel driving. So what do I like about the Mountain Trail EDX hard floor? just about everything. I mean this camper reeks quality, it's Aussie made and it's bush ready.